Hello and welcome back to the channel. This past weekend was the Austrian Grand Prix uh, at the Red Bull Ring in Spielberg and instead of doing a normal podcast like we have have meant been doing for the past six weeks, uh, Cooper and I of the Unnamed Fun Podcast, we decided to do a live reaction. So we set the recorder running as we watched the race, uh, had a little bit of commentary here and there, but just mainly just reacting to the, the thriller that was, I mean, was surprisingly interesting compared to, you know, France and Canada. So, um, I'll stop speaking now. I'll, uh, roll the tapes. Will they be held today? It's lights out away Whoa, look at that. He's already been bypassed by the two Mercedes Norris and Raikkonen as well. Leclerc Rip. leads. Come on, please, Nick. Crash. Then comes Lando oh. Norris ahead of the late start for Charles Leclerc. Into turn three we go. Norris on the inside of Hamilton. Hamilton goes wide. Lando Norris might get a decent getaway. And wheel to wheel with the Mercedes there. The two British drivers really going for it. Hamilton eases ahead and Norris slots back behind him. Front as into the penultimate corner. Kimi Raikkonen and Lando Norris putting on a... That's insane. What, when, where did Kimi start? Out. Lando slow though into turn nine. <clears> I think he was in Q3. I think so. Whoa. Look at that. Verstappen. Yeah, that's the what a rubbish start. start of the scene. Five positions. Yeah. Seriously, Lando Norris, that McLaren is insane. Well, he, he, he had third position for a second, but now he's back to fifth again. But like last year, Quali, he was less, I think he was 0 0.009 of a second slower than Verstappen. Right, yeah. Like that's that's equivalent of a tiny bit of oversteer out of a corner. Yeah. I mean that's insane. I mean he could have the, the fact that McLaren are nearly as fast as a Red Bull is yeah. mind boggling. Obviously not on every track. But like there was a like, F1 posted like a comparison and you had Norris like pulling away from Verstappen on the straights. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. It's insane. Like how is that this is the same team that was had Alonso complaining, struggling to get out of Q1 last year. Mm. You had a very good prediction at the start of the year. You were like, oh, McLaren can be the best improved. I'm like, no, it's racing point. What are you talking about? <laughs> and here we are, racing point. Struggle both out in Q1. Anyway, it's a bit of like tables are turned. Verstappen has lost more positions on the first lap today uh, than his previous 14 races combined as here goes the Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel squeezing past Lando Norris into turn three but Norris is going to come back at Sebastian Vettel now towards turn four and he's got DRS assistance as well is the McLaren going to go round the outside of the Ferrari into turn four Vettel breaks just that fraction later and that saves the day but he runs wide and he's still a little bit under pressure in this battle for fifth place Old message because I think he's got enough power and he has it to turn three. That'll please the uh, Dutch crowd here. And because he was uh, Gasling. Like he's an eighth, right? You can see yeah. based on the split time that he's not challenging anyone. Yeah. Yeah. And Anyway, yeah. Ooh, that's a... Um, yeah, so Gasly's in 8th. He's not challenging anyone. You can see by the timed. Not in DRS zone. He's not getting closer. Getting further away, if anything. I mean... What's happening? I mean, it's just it's just every quality is disappointing. And, I mean... He's... I looked at his stats in every single race. He hasn't, he's always been the bottom top three car in every single race, excluding obviously, you know, retirements and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he'll be dropped by the end of the year, surely. <laughs> I think so. I mean, Red Bull, um, Red Bull love doing this. Yeah. Swapping people out. Who do you think, who do you think will take his place though? Uh, Albon or Kvyat? Kvyat? Yeah. That would be kind of ironic, wouldn't it? Yeah. That is Alex Albon on the inside, Roman Grosjean on the outside and off the track. And that's Alex Albon making a move in the 16th place. Grosjean's going to come back at him, though. Or he's going to try and come back at him, but I think the Toro Rosso's a bit too far ahead. And look, there's George Russell oh, trying to make go. a move on Roman 
Oh. Finally, the directors have decided to show something other than the top two. Yeah. Yes, come on. Oh. Oh my god, that was Russell's chance for his only overtake of the whole year and he fucked it up. <laughs> no, not his, no, 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 that's not his only overtake the entire year. People have to pit at some time, you know. Yeah. He passes people in the pit lane. And that's an overtake, right? Seriously. Um, Ooh, told you, told you, you'd be us. Oh no, the tyres. Whoa, that didn't work. By uh, coming in when they did, they then lost by a very lengthy pit stop, 6.1 seconds. Oh, was stationary for. The GG. <gasps> Gazi made an overtake. Oh my god. It's, it's, I didn't realize it was possible. Wow. <sighs> Come on. Come on, overtake him. Oh no. Oh, Vettel's gonna come and ruin everything. Oh, Leclerc. Is he pits? Oh. <laughs> oh, that was alright. Yeah, just stop. Norris, Raikkonen, and Gasly. So that 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 gap wasn't there for him to pit at that stage. Yeah. So Sebastian Vettel suffering now and stuck behind the Red Bull and the Alfa Romeo. Neat stop for Charles Leclerc. As we can watch once again, look, they were still running out with the tyres when Sebastian Vettel was there and stationary. That's not what they normally train for. Uh, down at Ferrari, very unusual not to see the tyres there ready and waiting when the driver comes in and they are utterly furious with themselves uh, in that pit crew because their man was stationary for three times longer uh, than he would normally have wanted to be. Now, Gasly gone already. I was yeah, that's say, the uh, dispatch, I should say, for Vettel. Come on, push on. Come on. Tyres are good. Tyres are still good. Copy. Well, Hamilton's so got we a new... Go Hamilton's got a new lease of life, Paul Resta. Well, but what's happened since then already? The he didn't complain. Is this possible? Is this like a different Hamilton? I see. Is he like a Pokemon? He like evolved him? Yes, yes, yes. No. Oh, whoa. Come on. Pretty good. Love that in the Here he comes. Here he comes. He was like four he seconds behind Bottas, like again. two laps Ooh. ago. Leclerc should be seriously worried. Please don't. No, 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 no. Oh. Come on. Oh, hold on. Oh. Part of the track to overtake if you're not ahead going into the braking zone and fair play, bravo Charles Leclerc. That was great defending. Which way is Verstappen going to go here? DRS wide open, gaining on the Ferrari, switches early. Verstappen late braking. Leclerc this time might just have to give way as he goes off the track. And when he comes back on, Max Verstappen has just sent Holland into raptures. He leads the Austrian Grand. What are Hamilton and Vettel going to do in these last couple of laps? Because Sebastian Vettel might just well, get the chance as well to get past the Mercedes. As it is, Hamilton's teammate Valtteri Bottas ooh. looks comfortable in third place. But Hamilton's fourth place has just disappeared as he locks up 
Sebastian Vettel goes past into turn four and Hamilton's run of podium finishes is going to come to an end. It's one, two, three, four, five, six victories in Formula One for Max Verstappen and this number six was very much the best. Verstappen wins the Austrian Grand Prix but a round of applause amidst all the hugs and celebrations at Red Bull for Charles Leclerc as well who just couldn't fend off Verstappen in the end and had to concede second place Valtteri Bottas completes the podium positions ahead of Vettel and Hamilton Damn, not bad, hey. guess what Verstappen's are now looking at that incident between Charles Whoa, Leclerc hold on. and Max Verstappen we've got the chequered flag but it might not be over yet. Ah, uh, there was contact. I hope they don't do anything on the balance of racing. That was epic. Um, could you imagine if they give like <clears throat> Verstappen like a five second penalty and then he and then he loses the win? It's the stewards, like they could easily do that. Like So, yeah, that was the Austrian Grand Prix. As I mentioned before, very, very interesting race. Uh, win for Verstappen, probably should have been Leclerc in my opinion, but anyway, yeah, some great overtakes, some great racing, uh, some really interesting strategies. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, um, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.